How many people can look back on a legacy that lines streets and sidewalks, a life that has changed blocks, cities, and countries? The founder of the Little Free Library movement died after a brief battle with pancreatic cancer. And we spoke to three library owners who had the honor of meeting Todd Bowl, carrying on an enduring chapter that started with one tiny box. It is very well loved. This was one of the original ones that uh, was made by an Amish farmer. And it's really popular. People are stopping all the time. We just love the red roof. My wife is an avid book collector. For Christmas one year, I decided that I was gonna get her a little free library. And I decided to paint it red, just like our home. It was just perfect. Take a book, return a book. The back of it has got the old library cards in there. Just a wonderful way to get to know your neighbors. I've had so many people stop and talk and chat. It's like, oh, Lynn, I found a book. <laughs> I'm 5853, and now there's over 75,000 worldwide. Number 277. So I think, oh my gosh. It was many years ago when they first came out. I thought it was such a great idea. And down at Sutter Hardware, they were selling them. The neighbors chipped in, and we bought one. I got a call from Todd Bowl, and he said, oh, I hear you have one of our libraries. He's a magical person. We knocked on our door, and... Uh, <laughs> There was this man standing there telling us that he liked our little free library and he was the founder. He had a post hole digger and dug and put the put this little library in the ground. So um, it was amazing and he <laughs> he was so such an incredible guy. In the article today that he had passed away so quickly and to have this part of him here um, is so nice. He has all over the world. Um, parts of him are everywhere. I think it's like 88 countries now that the Little Free Libraries are in. It's just so cool to see. Um... Well, look, if there's going to be a legacy, if you're going to carry a legacy forward, what a legacy to leave. He's got to be the most successful businessman in the world because he's brought so many people together in so many countries. Every book that uh, gets put in there has been read by someone. And there's just something really beautiful about every page being touched by another person. When I like what um, Todd has on here, this little free library is a gift from friends who want to pay it forward. I think that's so nice. A little bit of him right here. I'm just so proud to be a part of his legacy in a small way. Uh, so quick story and personal connection. I also had the honor of meeting Todd when I drove to Hudson, Wisconsin to purchase a Little Free Library for my mom, a retired first grade teacher. That's her behind me. Hi, mom. Um, she painted it. She's a beautiful artist, so she also painted it with a gnome uh, book theme. And so that was our gift to her. But I remember his home, it was stacked with books all inside and in his yard. And um, just his kindness and passion really struck me. And that library there has been so well loved in our family. We're on our second one. Uh, one who was dedicated to my dad, also a teacher who has since passed away. So Adrian, just a really a gift that we treasure in our family. And now I'm passing on to my kids. So think about that gift he left for thousands, perhaps millions of people. Right? It's just so awesome. And you were sharing with your followers today, the sound of a child reading mm -hmm. is like the sweetest sound. Your mom sent you a video yep. of your son, Stellan, reading. And that's part of it. Yeah. It's just awesome. Start while they're young. I saw one of those little libraries in North Carolina. I was like, oh. That's so cool. We have these in Minnesota. Yeah. And they started right, right here. here in the Twin Cities area, Wisconsin. Yeah. But yeah, Great thank story. you so much. Thank you.